Welcome back. This is Flight Instructor Nick, and today we'll be covering VOR navigation. We'll be approaching the VOR from the north here to the VOR and actually flying a non published approach on the 270 radial holding west. On a 270 radial, right turns. As mentioned today, we'll be navigating we're north of the VOR. We're over at Grand Rapids Airport, and we'll be navigating south to the, uh, I believe it's a Victor Victory uh, VOR. For some reason, it's labeling as GRR. The database may be out of date. But the first thing we're going to do is the VOR frequency we tuned it in on NAV1, 115.95. We now switch it over to NAV1. Put it in the active. And you should see it switch over to the GRR. We then switch the CDI needle. It's right now in GPS mode. So we'll press the CDI to VOR1. And we now have a green identifier and GAR identified or on the uh, approach map it's actually victory uh, VOR we're going to go ahead and tune want to fly directly to uh, the victory VOR so we're going to turn the course knob to the left small knob until we get a centered needle And we have a scented needle with a two indication. So approximately a heading of 186 will take us to uh, Victory VOR. Once we reach Victory uh, VOR, which is 3.6 nautical miles, uh, we will do a hold west on a 270 radial from the radial. The non-published, this is the published instrument approach miss procedure, but we'll be holding on a 270 radial. We decided to reposition the aircraft. We're actually flying southeast of the VOR. We're flying from the VOR outbound. If you want to figure out what radial or if you're southeast, southwest of the VOR with compass heading what you do is we have 115.95 uh, the VOR tuned in here if we turn the courses to the right so if we actually want to figure out what radial we are from the VOR we turn that course knob to the right a little bit sensitive there have it centered up and currently we're passing through the one three radial from uh, the VOR and if we want to turn around and fly back to the VOR as mentioned we're flying the uh, outbound heading of 140 and we turn the uh, on the course and we want to turn inbound to the VOR. So we're going to actually we're on autopilot here. We're going to turn right to head to the VOR. And we'll turn this aircraft around. Fly back to the VOR, which is now currently 10.5 miles. We'll probably speed up this video so we don't have to painfully watch 10 miles click away. But as you see, we're turning the aircraft completely around to fly to the VOR, rather from the VOR. And once we have this aircraft completely turned around, we'll go ahead and recenter this course and fly a specific course to the VOR. So it looks like a northwesterly course. Once we center up, 
and level the wings with the heading on autopilot. Now we'll go ahead and set off the course. And it looks like the uh, course of 322. So we'll fly a heading of approximately 322 to the VOR. And we should start counting down 9.8, 9.7 back to the VOR. I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video. So we'll fly in 322 uh, to the video, uh, to the VOR. Now we're going to hold uh, 270 uh, right turns once we reach the VOR. Uh, if you could imagine like the heading indicator to determine the type of entry we're going to make for this instrument hold, uh, you come down and you divide this almost like a line, like a pizza pie. The course of 270 based upon our current heading is falling within this. This would be the parallel sector, the teardrop sector, and down here would, would be the direct entry. So we're going to do a heading of a 270. So as soon as we hit that VOR, we're going to turn left 270 and head outbound, hold west on the 270 radial. Okay, we've gotten closer to the VR. We sped up the video and we're heading to the VR with 1.9 and we're heading directly to the VR. You can see on the map, uh, we'll be coming in. This is the published hold. Just ignore that because we're going to hold west on the 270 radial from the VR uh, once we hit the VR or once we actually fly overhead to the VR. We have our timer set up here. So once we hit, once we fly over the VOR, we're going to uh, turn to heading of 270. Uh, twist. We're going to twist the course to 270 uh, outbound. Throttle. Well, we don't have to do anything with the throttle because we're heading 90 knots, typical for 172 Cessna. And talk. We'll uh, let no air traffic control know that we're entering the hold. And we'll be doing, based upon the course we're holding on 270 and our heading of 323. This falls in this sector, so we're doing a parallel left turn entry. Uh, left turn 270 and then right turns once we're established. So we're going to go outbound 270, make a left turn, reestablish back in a hold, and there'll be right turns and hold. Okay, we're approaching the VOR point eight miles, so we actually have it on autopilot and navigation uh, mode, so a few seconds here as we fly over the VOR, we'll uh, turn left to a heading of 270, so we'll just turn and we're going to, since we're in nav mode, we're going to turn the course left. Here we go. 270. And match up the heading. 270. Turn. Time. Start the timer. We'll go outbound for one minute. And it's being timed up. And you can see that the 270 is coming back in. And we'll track this 270 radial outbound for one minute. And track the 270, which is 090, inbound to the VR. So inbound is uh, 090. Outbound. Of the VR is 270. We got 45, 15 seconds to go here on a timer. We're on autopilot, VOR mode, nav mode. So we're going to five seconds here. And I'll actually start here. We're going to turn. Here we go. Turn left. 
zero nine zero to intercept the uh, zero nine zero. Here we go. We'll stop this time. We'll reset it. And we're now heading to inbound. And what we're going to actually do is turn the aircraft to a heading that'll re intercept the inbound course of uh, 090. We'll actually increase the range so you can see this a little bit better. Uh, now moving map here for references only. Realize that we're not using this published approach. We're flying a 270 radial holding west on the 270. Okay, it's recentering. Uh, we'll head inbound. It's heading up 270. Heading outbound for one minute. Continue holding. Is station passage. And that's holding west on the 270. We're now established. We would tell AT. Air traffic control uh, that we are established in the hold and expect further clearance. So turn time, start out time again, and we'd we'd actually start out time once we were a beam our VOR. So we started out time a little bit early, but it looks like we're tracking over this published, but we're really not. Thanks for joining us. That's uh, VOR Navigation and Instrument Holds.